here for CAA football. The blitz as we continue. And he may go to this next Terrence Wright. You're going to put yourself in a situation to win a lot of football games. Bobby Broyles and Scott Meyer here with CAA Football The Blitz as we continue on our 11 teams in 11 days tour as we take a look at the Maine Black Bears. Maine had a terrific season last year. They reached the quarterfinals of the playoffs after a convincing win at Appalachian State. Scott, they were the only CAA football team to reach the quarterfinals, mm -hmm. but it's a new season. They have a lot of holes to fill in. Let's start on the offensive end where they're looking for a new starting quarterback and running back. Yeah, those, those positions are the key skill positions. You talk about the quarterback and the running back, but around those positions, they have some weapons. Justin Perillo, Maurice McDonald, Chris Howley, Josh Spearn, all preseason CAA picks. Um, I think Coach Cosgrove is probably going to lean on those guys a little bit more to help develop a true quarterback out of the guys that he has in the mix. But you look at the on the offensive side in terms of running back, they have some guys that played. Nobody can really repeat or uh, fill in for Pushon Brown. I mean, that's a, that's a key name. But David Hood is a name that kind of jumps off the roster right now. He had a little bit of experience last year, played well in spurts. Uh, I look forward to to see and what comes out of that offensive side for Coach Cosgrove. Head coach Jack Cosgrove addressed those issues recently on who will be competing to fill those roles at quarterback and running back. Well, you know, replacing those guys is going to be is going to be difficult, but it's going to be made easier by the experience we have in our offensive line and receiver crew. You know, we've got all those guys back, so you know, Marcus is going to be competing, Marcus Wasilewski and, and John Ebling for the quarterback spot. We're excited about both guys. They're, they're quarterbacks. You know, they're leaders, they're men that we want in charge of our football team. The tailback spot, you know, losing Pushon Brown, he's a, he was a highly unrecognized football player in this league. Could run, catch, block, do anything you asked. David Hood was his backup last year. Will be a sophomore. We were excited about David and what he did for us last year. Had a real big game against Appalachian State. So, you know, we'll look for David Hood or Terrell Walker, who will be a junior, who has played a lot for us in a backup role and played a lot of special teams for us in the past couple of years. So those are the two guys, Hood and Walker, to look for at the tailback spot. On the defensive end, Scott, they lose Drawn McMillan one, to the NFL Draft, one of their top defensive players from last year, but they get da linebacker Dante Dennis back from injury. Yeah, one of those names that kind of got forgotten last year on the defensive side of the ball for Maine, but prior to that, he was an all-conference performer way back. He's, he, he used his year last year coming back from an injury, a, a freak injury to an arm that you don't see very often in football. He was a coach on the sideline last year, learning, fine-tuning things, and also helping those youngsters. I remember seeing him on the sideline in Richmond when Maine played there and a big comeback from Maine. He was one of the biggest cheerleaders in all of the, the team there, leading his team. Look for him to have a very big season this year. It's his senior year. He wants to go out as a winner. Well, here is Jack Cosgrove on getting Dante Dennis back in the lineup. I don't know how he survived last year. You know, his roommate is Vincent Gibbons. His, his, his best buddies are, are McMillan and Costin, all going into his senior year. He gets knocked out. He's got Tommy John surgery for a guy who plays linebacker. I don't understand that, but, you know, here, here he is going through the season. He had to be agonizing, uh, but it's, he gets it back, you know, and uh, what is it they say in life? When you have something taken away, you realize how important and valuable it is. He's had a tremendous offseason. I, I didn't see his name on the preseason all-conference. Doesn't surprise me. It'll be there at the end of the year. That's just the quality of the player that I think he's going to be for our football team on defense this year. Coach Cosgrove obviously very excited to have the services of Dante Dennis back on his defense. Scott, this team has a very good mix of veterans returning, but also new guys and new roles. What do you expect from the Maine Black Bears in 2012? Maine has always played with a chip on their shoulder. It's kind of one of those philosophies that Coach Cosgrove has. But I, I see it as being the outlier of the conference where they're located. Obviously, with a lot of the news just now breaking, we get some teams back in their region. But Maine plays with that chip be, because it's, it's kind of just a rhythm thing. They get, they start out slow, surprise a few, a few people, surprise a few teams here and there, and they build momentum. Look at what happened last year. They're our longest standing team in the playoffs last year because they build the chemistry. 
They get that team-oriented goal and they go for it. The players to watch, Maurice McDonald, Dante Dennis, those are the guys that are gonna be leaders on this team. Some filling guys too, to, to mold that offense. Look for the offensive line to play a very big role in Spearing and Halley, the leadership role is there. Maine is gonna surprise some people in this league in 2012. The Black Bears open their 2012 campaign with a road trip to Boston College Saturday, September the 8th at 1 o'clock, and you can see that game live on ESPN3. The Delaware Blue Hens are next up on the 11 teams in 11 days series. Coach Casey Keeler looking to get his squad back into the playoffs after missing out on the show last year. For Scott Meyer, I am Bobby Broyles. You are watching CAA Football The Blitz. <laughs>